India has the population of 1.3 billion people. 1.3 billion people means too much of diversity. So this diversity of India is pervaded in various aspects like the religion, language, race, region, okay. In various fields there are diversities in India. This diversity is the hallmark of our the country and this is the strength of the unity of India. So without this diversity it is hard to imagine India as it is today. This diversity is the hallmark and it defines India as a nation. Okay. So this diversity I said it pervaded in various aspects of life. One of such aspect of life is the religion. So today's discussion is related to one such aspect that is the religion. The Supreme Court of India has come up with one verdict related to the uh, whether to give the minority status to particular group of people or not. Okay. So this is the today's uh, discussion. This is the today's subject of discussion. Welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. Let us continue our discussion. Okay. So minority status to Hindus. You know it very well that India, as I said, it is 1.3 billion strong country. So here the major religion is the Hinduism. Most of the people follow the principles or the tenets of Hinduism. But being the majority religion, so in some of the states, the people who follow the Hinduism, they are less in number. Okay. So some of the people think that they should be regarded as the minority group in that particular state. So let us look into this aspect, what the Supreme Court has said, whether the state should be given the powers to identify the particular group of people as the minority group or not. Okay. <coughs> now, so why we have taken up this topic as the today's subject of discussion because of this context. What is the context? The context is that the three member bench of the Supreme Court said very recently that the religious or the linguistic community, religious or linguistic community which is a majority, sorry, which is a minority in a particular state can claim protection and the right to run own education institution under the article 29 and 30. So articles 29 and 30, they define cultural and educational rights of the people. Okay, the cultural and educational rights, these are the one among the fundamental rights guaranteed by the constitution of India. The Supreme Court here it is telling that the bench or the three member bench of the Supreme Court it is telling that if a particular group of people which is the religious or linguistic minority group, okay, so it has the powers, okay, it has uh, this community which is a minority in a particular state can claim the protection and the right to run the own educational institution. That means it has the power, uh, the minority group has the power to establish and and administer the educational institutions of their own under the article 29 and 30. So then it also said, the court also said that the minority status of religious and the linguistic communities is state dependent. Okay, the Supreme Court said, the Supreme Court said that the status of religious and linguistic communities, whether a particular group of people who have the linguistic or religious minority status, that status should be given by the center or state. Okay, in this judgment, in this you know opinion, the Supreme Court has said that the states have the power to give the minority status to particular group of people in its own state. Okay, now, then this verdict came because of a petition filed in a court or because of a plea filed in a supreme court okay what is the petition what is the case let us look into the case now the petition or the the case or the the, the person who has filed the case he said in the petition that the followers of the judaism bahaism and the hinduism okay who are the real minorities in Ladakh? He is mentioning some of the religions and the petition is also mentioning the places also. So the religions are Judaism, Wahhab, Baha'ism and the Hinduism. These three group of people, they are the real minorities. The petition is telling that these religions are the minorities in which areas? The areas like the Ladakh, the state of Mizoram, 
the Union Territory of Lakshadweep, Union Territory of Kashmir, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Arunachala Pradesh, Punjab and Manipur. In these states, the Judaism, Baha'ism and the Hinduism, they are the minority in their strength. Okay. So, these people, they cannot establish and administer the educational institutions of their own choice because of non-identification of minority at the state level. The petition is telling that these people, Baha'ism, Judaism and Hinduism, they are the minorities. Though they are the major religion in the rest of the country, they are minorities in the here mentioned states and the union territories like the Lakshadweep, Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, Arunachala Pradesh, Manipur. Okay, in such states, these are in minority in their strength. So, though they are minority, they are not able to establish and administer the educational institutions of their own. So, in the previous slide, we have seen that Article 29 and 30, they provide for the religious or the minority people to establish the educational institutions. But though the, these people are the minor, minorities, they are not able to establish the, the educational institutions, though they are minority in the particular state. Okay, This is the petition and the petition is also telling that the recognition of the Muslims Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists and the Parsis nationally by the center. Okay, The center has identified six religions as the minor religions. Okay, These are the minority religions. Who are they? There are six religions. What are they? Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists, Parsis. Okay, These are the minority groups identified by the center. Okay. They are identified as the minorities, but this identification ignores the fact that the religious communities like the Hindus were socially, economically, politically non-dominant and numerically inferior in several states. The petition is telling that the central government through the particular acts, it has identified some of the religions as the minority religions, but the Hindus have been identified as the majority religious group but these are socially economically and politically non-dominant groups these hindus are socially economically and politically they are non-dominant non-dominant and they are numerically inferior that means they are very less in number in some of the states okay this is the second point in the petition the petition again it is also telling that the section 2 clause c of the national commission for Minorities Act 1992. Okay, this is very important. Section 2, Clause C of the National Commission for Minorities Act 1992. It gives the unbridled power to the center to notify the minorities in defiance of the Supreme Court's 11 judge bench judgment TMA Pi case. Okay, the petition is also telling that the Section 2, Clause C of the National Minorities Commission Act of 1992, it gives the more and more power to the central government to identify the particular religion as the minority religion. Okay, But this provision of this act is against the Supreme Court judgment in, 19, in 2002. Okay? So in 2002, in a TMA Pi case, the Supreme Court had said that the power to identify a particular religion as the minority religion is given to the states. Okay, the Supreme Court is telling the states have the power to identify the particular religion as the minority religion. But what is uh, here? What is the what is there in this act? The act of 1992. It is empowering the central government to identify the religion as a particular particular religion as the minority. Okay, there is a contradiction between the Supreme Court judgment as well as the law passed by the Parliament. Okay, this is the the point highlighted by the petition okay the petition is also telling it has given some of the facts okay so it is telling it is uh, the petition is showing that as per the 2011 census okay 2011 census data hindus have become the minorities okay this petition is concerned about the hindus okay these people have become minorities in the Lakshadweep, Mizoram, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Jammu Kashmir, Arunachala Pradesh, Manipur and Punjab. He has given the data by how much 
uh, strength these people are present in in these states okay so by giving the data it, this petition is establishing that this p hindu group of people have become the minorities in these states okay now the petition is also telling these minorities people like the hindus in these states they should be given the minority status in these states in accordance with the principle laid down by the supreme court in its 2002 tma pi foundation as well as the 2005 bal patil case okay the petition has given the reference to the bal patil case of 2005 and the tma uh, foundation tma pi foundation case of 2002 okay by giving the reference to these prior uh, prior judgments of the supreme court the petition is telling that these hindus should be given the minority status and this uh, power to identify the uh, particular group as the minority religion should be given to the states okay this is what is the petition okay based on this petition the supreme court has now said that the states should be given the power to identify particular group of people or the particular religion as the minority religion in their own respective states okay this is the recent judgment given by the uh, supreme court but in earlier judgments the supreme court uh, has also opined or it has expressed the the same views okay there are two judgments the petition has referred to the tma pi case of 2003 and the bal patil case of 2005 okay let us look into these uh, cases and let us analyze what the supreme court has said okay in this tma pi case in 2003 the supreme court has said or it has given the verdict that for the purpose of article 30 okay for this discussion article 29 and article 30 are very important okay these two articles provide for cultural and educational rights of the minority people okay so for the purpose of article 30 that deals with the rights of the minorities to establish and administer the educational institutions religious and linguistic minorities have to be considered state wise okay in the uh, tma pi case in 2003 the supreme court has said the power to identify the religious and linguistic minorities commission uh, minorities should be given to the states and these minority group of people should be identified state wise okay and the state authorities should be given the power to identify such people as the minorities okay this is the uh, verdict given by the case sorry supreme court in the 2003 okay so this case is very uh, landmark case because this judgment was pronounced by the 11 member bench okay it's a very big bench 11 member bench delivered this verdict and this verdict it has said and it has given the power to the states okay in the bal patil case in 2005 again after two years the supreme court has said the same thing what it has said henceforth that is from 2005 onwards the unit for determining the status of both linguistic and the religious minorities would be the state it has said the unit unit of identifying the religious and the linguistic minorities should be the state okay that means here both the judgments are same tma pi case as well as the bal patil case both the cases that uh, in these both of the cases the supreme court is telling that the unit of identification of the minorities religions should be the state and the state authorities must be given the power to identify particular religion as the minority religion okay this is the previous verdicts of the supreme court again in the 2002 very recently yesterday the supreme court again has this has said that the hindus can be identified as the minority religion in particular states the petition has said and in its petition it has said that the states like Mizoram, manipur arunachala pradesh lakshadweep okay uh, punjab in these states the hindus are in minority and in those states the hindus should be given the minority status the supreme court now it has said it has accepted the petition and it has delivered the verdict uh, for the petition okay now it has said the hindus can be given the minority status by the states in the particular northeast as well as in the jammu and kashmir and ladakh union territories okay this is the very recent judgment of the supreme court now 
we are you know there is a conflict between the center and the state now we are referring to the national commission of minorities act 1992 and we are referring to the tmfi case and the bal patil case and very recent petition filed in the supreme court so there is a confusion with respect to these uh, you know laws of the uh, parliament as with respect to the petitions also now there is a uh, in, the, in the constitution there is a power sharing arrangement okay the schedule 7 of the constitution provides for the three lists the whole of the administration in the country is run according to the three lists or the provisions in the three lists provided in the seventh schedule of the constitution okay the parliament has the power to make the laws on the central list states have the power to make laws on the state list but on the concurrent list both the parliament as well as the state legislatures have the power to make the laws okay here the parliament and the state legislatures have the concurrent powers this is very important both this identification of the minorities is the job of both the central government as well as the state government okay parliament and the state legislatures have the concurrent powers to enact the law to provide for the protection of minorities and their interests okay to protect the interests of the minorities and to protect the rights of these minority people the parliament as well as the states can enact the laws that means this is the concurrent power of the both the legislative bodies in the country okay now there is some data given by the ministry of minority affairs okay based on the 2011 data the ministry of minority affairs has given some of the uh, figures here so i have said in india there are six minority religions identified by the ministry of uh, minor ministry of minority affairs okay the central union ministry the six religions are the muslims six christians buddhists jain zoroastrians are the parsis okay these six religions have been uh, notified as the minority communities under the section 2 of the national commission for minorities act this is very important section 2 of the national commission for minorities act 1992 that means section 2 clause c of this 1992 act empowers the central government to identify the religions as the minority communities okay but the ministry has also given another data based on the census of 2011 as per the census 2011 the percentage of minorities in the country is about 19.3 percent of the total population of the countries see the these are the six minority communities okay these six minority communities uh, constitute nearly 20 percent of the total population of the country that means majority of the people are they have the majority religion and rest of the 20 percent of the people have the minority religious status in the country okay see um, uh, among this among this 20 percent of the population there are again these six muslims christians six buddhists jain and the parsis okay so among all these six minority religions muslim people have the highest population that means 14.2 percent of the total population of the country is you know under the the uh, that means it is constituted by the people who follow the islam okay then the christian they constitute the 2.3 percent of the total population six they constitute 1.7 percent buddhists constitute 0.7 percentage jains 0.4 percent and the parsis they are very very less in number they constitute 0.006 percent of the total population okay these are the six minority religions or the minority communities identified the identified by the central government or the ministry of minority affairs under the section 2 clause c of the national commission for minorities act 1992 okay now what are the other constitutional provisions with respect to the minority communities in india the constitution provides for six fundamental rights okay right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation freedom of religion right to constitutional remedies and the cultural and educational rights okay there are various rights among six these six rights one of those rights is the 
कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशनल राइट्स द कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशनल राइट्स आर एनश्राइंड इन द आर्टिकल्स ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड दट थर्टी ओके से अपार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड थर्टी देर इज वन मोर आर्टिकल दैट इज आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी बी थ्री फिफ्टी बी आर्टिकल इट प्रोवाइड्स फॉर द स्पेशल ऑफिसर फॉर लिंग्विस्टिक माइनॉरिटीज ओके लेट एस नो स्टडी दीज आर्टिकल्स आर सो आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी नाइन इट टेल्स दैट एनी सेक्शन ऑफ द सिटीजन्स एनी सेक्शन ऑफ द सिटीजन्स रिसाइडिंग इन द टेरिटरी ऑफ इंडिया और एनी पार्ट देर ऑफ हैविंग ए डिस्टिंक्ट लैंग्वेज स्क्रिप्ट और कल्चर ऑफ इट्स ओन शैल हैव द राइट टू कंजर्व द सेम दैट मीन्स एनी ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल ओके हु आर लेस इन नंबर सी एनी सेक्शन ऑफ द पीपल वेदर दे आर लिंग्विस्टिकली माइनॉरिटी और रिलीजियस माइनॉरिटी ओके इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देयर रिलीजियन और द लैंग्वेज इफ दे आर इन माइनॉरिटी दीज पीपल कैन एस्टैब्लिश ओके or they can they can, they have the right to conserve their own language script and the culture okay this is article 29 but article 30 it talks about the all minorities whether based on the religion or language they shall have the right to establish and administer the educational institutions of their own choice okay article 30 provides for establishment and administration of the educational institution of their own choice but here article 29 provides for preservation of the their own distinct language script or the culture okay these are the two articles related to the cultural and educational uh, rights of the people okay article 350b okay this article was added through the 7th constitutional amendment act 1956 okay See Article three fifty B. This B indicates that this is the new article in the Constitution, which was inserted through the Seventh Constitutional Amendment Act in the year nineteen fifty six. What does this article say? It is telling that the special officer for linguistic minorities. This is important. The special officer for linguistic officer can be appointed by the President of India. Okay, the special officer for linguistic minorities. can be appointed by the president of india okay this officer has the duty to investigate all the matters related to the safeguards provided for the linguistic minorities under the constitution of india what is the duty of this special officer who was appointed by the president of india his duty is to safeguard or to monitor the progress of the the provisions provided in the constitution of india related to the mi minorities okay this is the duty of the linguistic minority officer okay or the special officer for linguistic minorities these are the various constitutional provisions under the constitution of india related to the uh, religious minorities of the uh, the population okay so in this discussion we have understood that in the recent judgment the supreme court has said that the hindus can be given the minority status in a particular state where they are very less in number and the states can be given the power to identify particular religion as the minority community in its own state okay along with the center though the center has the powers to identify the people as the minority people under the section sorry section 2 sub clause sorry clause c of the national minority commission act 1992 okay so along with the center now the states can also declare a particular religion as the minority religion okay this is the uh, today's you know topic and because of the context of the supreme court verdict we have discussed it so far okay thank you very much for watching this video